So at this point of time, I'm going to uh, uh, show you first the uh, the base plate where you show the uh, this is the this is the component one zero zero four. So in this case, base plate. Uh, if you notice here, there's a, there's a lot of options here. Uh, one is the, uh, let's say the parts, if you go to the part here, if you say the thickness of the base plate is, let's say, 35, okay, you put the value. This is how you, you tell them to check, how to check. You put the value and then you modify and you can see the, you can see the output, okay, value value modify and output so that's how you check so if you don't know what is this value you just put any value and then modify so you you can see how, what will happen there okay let's say uh what is this additional additional beam so if i put additional beam let's say uh, ub127 okay additional beam and then modify so it means there will be an additional beam here the shear key so enable for you to change the height of this one you go to the first uh, page and then here you put let's say 150 and then modify so that one it becomes smaller okay next um, how about the uh, the parameters okay uh, general so let's say if I change the class here to number six what will happen so everything uh, changed to color yellow the component becomes yellow class is color. yeah the class is the color and then what if I want to change the bolt bolt is the number of holes and anchor rod you, you can use the bolt okay but Later on, I will show you the, the options of the bolt and anchor rod. Huh? So here in this case, let's say this is the setting, middle, middle. So let's say in this case, I have two. Let's say into 400. Modify. Look what will happen. Okay. So it means this one, this bolt to this bolt is... The distance between the bolt is 400 okay if I add one here again 2 into 400 look what will happen modify okay expand now what if I have three three bolt yeah. here in this side so I can just make it three and then 400 divided by 2 so that it will be at the middle of 400 so this one will become 200 modify now what if this this bolt is something like there a distance is uh, uh, 250 and the other one is 150 so you, you just put here 250 space 150 and then modify so it will adjust the the bolt. 250 yeah. So it means this one is this one is 250. This one is 150. Okay. If you want to make it equal, I think if you remove the value, that one automatically it will become uh, okay. It become there is a default value there, so it will become at the center. So you need to put the value here so that you can decide what is the distance. Okay, now, how about if I have one more here? So, I need to put also three here, and then this one is 200, modify. The problem is, because I want to have here, there will be a bolt at the middle, right? Which is wrong. How you're going to delete this bolt to the middle? So, here you count one, two, three four five or one two three four five so five that one is the pip bolt so here just put type delete five modify and there you go 
Okay? So that's how you you modify the connection. Just put the value and then modify. So if you want to use this one, if you want to use okay, the value of this one, just simply apply. Or you can just save this one as to the, uh, let's say your name, or let's say I will put here base plate. Base plate 101, something like that. So save us. Save us. Now, if I do the other things and then I go back again to that base plate, I will just press Control F and then say 1004. So here, double click. And then here, I will just select base plate 101. Load. Apply. And OK. And then, again here, pick the part and then pick the position. And there you go. Clear? Okay, clear, huh? So let's go to the next one. Actually, this one, uh, after explaining you the, the one, the first one, the next, the next thing is same. Okay, now, look at this one. Uh, notice this one. If you, uh, if you check this uh, connection, this one is two angle, right? Okay, the good thing here, because of the, the intelligence of the component, if I, press, if I use the connection number 11, I'm sorry, 11. So look, I open this one, then I change now the gas set to, the thickness is 8, correct? Because 8 is the, the gap earlier, huh? 8. And then apply, so maybe I can put the, the clearance here, let's say 20. Apply, and OK, or I can save that one also. Let's say brace. Save as, apply, and OK. So pick the main part. Okay, now here, you don't have to pick the two angle. Just pick, click one, and then middle button of your mouse. And there you go. Automatically, it will cut. You get it? Okay, now, if you want to have, let's say, here, if you notice, this one is zero to the to the edge, right? If you want to, to put the some clearance here, just simply add some value here, let's say 10 here, or 10 here, and then modify. So there you go, you have the, oh, sorry, not this one. Uh, Not this one, but this one. Ten. Ten. Okay. There you go. Okay. So if you want to have a some uh, this one, it it will uh, so that there will be a cut. Let's say this one is twenty five modify. So here there's a twenty five millimeter here. And again, the good thing with this uh, system component is self explanatory. Why? Because there's a picture and then there's a value. So you need to uh, you need to be well versed here because later on when we do the custom component, we're going to do same as this. There's a picture and then there's a value. Okay. So this one it becomes intelligent. Correct. Okay. So let's continue. If you're happy with this uh, setting, just say bus apply or. If you notice here, there is already uh, ex existing one. I will just simply click, check, uh, click this one and then modify. Look what will happen. So it will become si similar to the to the other one. Okay, got it, huh? So I will just simply apply again and then here I will just simply check, pick this one, pick this one, and there you go. Quickly, right? Next, the end plate, end plate. So, double click on this one. So again, the plate size, let's say this one is 20 thickness. 20 thickness, modify. And then, the bolt, let's say I want uh, four rows of bolt. Okay, four rows of bolt. So, I will just simply check the bolt and then here, let's say from the top, from the top, I want to have a 90, 90 millimeter from the top, so that one is 90, or maybe you can say 80. And then 
the pitch of the bolt I will put 4 and then here 70 modify and there you go but because it, it's something like over so I can make it uh, 3 only modify and there you go so I need only the 3 rows of bolt here okay yeah 70 now if again if you want to have a different distance of this bolt let's say uh, this bolt is uh, 90 and this bolt is 50 so you type here you type here 90 and then space 50 and then modify so there you go okay if there is a stiffener if you want to move the bolt away from the stiffener you can change this one okay so in that case um, now if you notice here look at this one the plate is something like uh, the plate is uh, smaller than the plunge so if you want to put the the plate bigger or similar to the width of the plunge okay you can put the value here let's say 2 into 120 modify okay there you go or you can you can specify the edge distance let's say I want to put here 40 40 modify so it's already 40 40 okay clear and uh, also not only that if you want to change the the welding just click on the welding and then here you can specify the different welding type okay so again it's uh, self-explanatory one is the welding for the uh, plunge to the uh, to the plate so here you can see the uh, the explanation of that one so it will guide you okay but not we're not going to do that all the, those things so I'm okay with that one so if I'm uh, if I'm happy with this setting I will just simply apply and then control F I will type here 144 so this one I'm going to apply from this point to this point and there you go okay now for this one for the stub this one is 119 look at this one I think this one is a uh, quite something new to me but it seems this one is a very useful one okay so 119 so you can just simply put the the data here okay the the dimensions right and then simply apply that one when I apply it's already correct so no need for further explanation for this one I will just put 119 and then click here click the column and click the beam and there you go you have the stub okay and uh, lastly the uh, 185 185 okay okay look if I click the, the beam and then the, the plate look at the plate it's this is what you got right it's outside right yeah. now enable for you to put that one in the other side there's an option this is what I'm telling you earlier so here go to the plate and then here there's an option for the positioning of the plate so just simply select the other side and then modify and that's it you have now the the correct position of the the plate select the plate right uh, select the components. Yeah. Okay. Make it sure that you're also in the correct selection tools here. Huh? Here at the bottom, you can see the selection tools. Do you, uh, do you remember this one? The uh, Select components, objects in components. Do you remember this one? Okay. So, I got to run. Sorry, me and. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> we, we, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So make sure this guy is uh, asking you the right question. Uh, I hope. <laughs> and everything is documented. No worry. <laughs> now the now it's recorded now. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. So in this case, 
uh, this one is the selection tools, ah. Remember that, ah. So if you say select component, it means look. If I select one part of the component, everything is highlight, correct? If I select object in component, I can select only this plate. I can select only the bolt. I can select only the cut, and I can select only the the welding. That one is object in component. Clear? Yeah. Okay. Now. So, this one is already finished. Okay. Now, the thing is, uh, when you have this kind of thing, don't forget to mention in the training the different visibility in the view. This, you remember the control 1, 2, 3, 4, 5? So, don't, don't forget to show that one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then ship 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay? So, th that one is very important. So, if you notice here, it will select only that part. Right? Control 4 and ship 4. Now, um, let me finish this one and then you can continue. Okay? So, all I have to do, since I have 1, 2, 3, 4 column all i have to do is select this one select this right click and then copy linear from this point to this point and then i have two number of copies look what will happen two copies i select only those part huh? copy and here automatically there will be a connection here and that's finished It's quick, right? So you will not spend much time. So. But we select all the all the components. The quick also be selected, right? Okay. One four four. This one. Okay. And then bolt. Bolt. The top there that you that you now are you know uh yes top there means the top of the bolt. Top of the top of the plate, top of the plunge. So it means if this one should be uh -huh. so this top to the board. Check the board. So this one is the 90 or the, oh. This is the top. So below means below. Below it means below. Oh. Top, uh -huh. middle, uh -huh. below. Okay. So 40 from the middle is, let me say 40. If it is 40 from the middle, uh -huh. this is your reference. So here, if this one will be 40. Oh, okay. So if you're in the middle, you don't have to put any value. Uh -huh. Because that, it means that one will be in the middle. Unless you want to refer to the, to the middle. Uh -huh. So... In that case, because the, the normal practice is you put this one on top and then you put the value here. So we call that one the first down hole. First down hole. So from the top, that is the first hole. So that one is uh, in the detailing point of view, that is also very important. But Unfortunately, when you change the, uh, the properties of the uh, twin profile, it will be the individual now. So let's say, for example, uh, I will uh, use the twin profile here, right? So if you want to change now the properties of this, see, it will give you the individual. So let's say, for example, I want to change the gap. So originally, the gap is 8, right? So it means 4, 4. So if I want to change this one to 12, it should be 6-6. Six, six. So I need to change this one from the position. I need to change this one to 6. Modify. And then this one, I need to change this one to 6. And then modify. And that's it. And then if you want to change the size of this one, let's say uh, I will put 90 by 90 by 10. So modify. And then this one is 90 by 90 by 10. Modify as well. Yeah, yeah. The uh, the 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 use of uh, having the twin profile is 
when you do the modeling, you don't have to do it twice. The uh, only thing is you need to modify that one individually in case that you have some un amendments. Okay? So did you finish already the... Uh, Yeah. So how do we know what category we Yeah, actually that one is uh, if you click on this one, these are the if you click the class, these are the color. So you can just take note of this one. We have we have at the moment fourteen colors, basic color. Fourteen. But if you want to have a different shadings, that one is under the object representation. Okay, object representation. I will uh, uh, let let me go through this uh, stiffener and then we'll go to the object representation. Okay. So now, if you want to add the stiffener again, Control F and then here I will use the uh, uh, I will type stiffener. Select this one. You can specify the the thickness of the stiffener here. Apply and okay. So click the column and then pick the position. There you go. Now, if you if you don't like to pick column and then pick the position, you can just simply copy this one to these three columns at the same location. How to do that one? All you have to do is just simply select the component, okay? Right click, copy special to another object. Okay? Copy special to another object. It means you will copy this component to another object. So. If I click copy special to another object, first pick the source of the source object. What is the source object? This column, right? Now, what is the destination object? One, two, three, and finish. Select select the component first. Again. So select select the component. Only the component, not the uh, column. Huh? Select, right click, copy special to another object. Pick the source object, which is the column, one, and then pick the destination objects, one, two, three, and then finish. One, zero, zero, three. Okay. Yeah. So, my plate. My. I'll call this one the base plate. Mm -hmm. Does it have uh, the one? No. This one? Yes. So. That that I one is under the uh, the yeah. anchor rod. Anchor rod? Yeah, anchor rod. Get it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you get it? Okay. Now, um, as, I, as I was telling, there are two types of filter. One is the select filter, and the other one is the view filter. Okay, select filter and view filter. This one is also a very good option because uh, if you want to select a certain elements, you can do the filtering. Okay, so select filter, it means, if you notice here, you can see this, this standard, the different filter here. So if I say column, columns, or if I select columns, and then I make a window, look what happened. Selecting the column. If I select the, uh, the beam, So selected only the the beam okay but again this one is the default this one is the default huh if you select if you say standard it means I can select all now how you're going to 
to to create this one this uh, filter so this one by default this is the the filter that you can uh, find here but if you want to create the uh, your own filtering option just simply click on this selection filter or control G okay so in this case you can just simply uh, create your own filtering option here so there's a rule inside if you notice here part name equals okay if the part name is equals to this it will filter something like that okay so the category is you have many from part component both weld and so on okay but at the moment let's focus on the part if the part name or if the part class or if the part material or if the part profile you can choose also at the moment we will choose the name if the part name is equals to to what either you type or select from model if the part name is equals to this one angle okay right if you apply and okay look what will happen if I select now so I select only the the angle okay now let's go back again so if the part name is equals to angle then you can type here the file name the one you save you want to save let's say this one is parametric angle angles okay if you save us if you save us okay if you save us this one you can find this one here parametric angles you get it okay now um let's do the next one if the part name is equals to select from model this one Sorry, because this one is need to okay. Okay, if the part name is equals to column, so here I will type here para metric column save us. Okay, next. If the part name is equals to beam so parametric beam save us now if you close this one here I can simply see parametric beam only selecting the beam parametric column only selecting the column parametric angle only selecting the angle okay if you select the parametric beam means even though you have um, a few different sizes of beam yeah all, all the name with the beam oh okay. okay all the name with the beam but if you say profile it will go to that particular profile okay now uh in the view filter view filter is the same view view filter is the same double click double click the view and then here you can see here the visi visible object group so if you say beams and then modify so it will show only the beams if you say uh, columns modify it will show only the columns okay standard modify now Enable for you to save this one. It's the same thing. Go to the object group and then you can save this one here. You can save. Sa uh, object group here. Object group. This one is the same. Okay? Same thing. If the part name is equals to and then save this. Save that. Now, the question is, can I save the same filter in the in the selection filter to the view filter 
same same rules. Yeah. yeah. So in that case, where to where to go? Here, remember we created the the option here. Yeah. So here, when you say parametric angle, okay. So if the part name is equals to angle, then can you expand this one here? Expand. And then just simply click view filter here, object representation. Okay? And then save us. It means when I save that rule, it's not only in the selection filter, but also in the view filter and then object representation. Okay? So again, go to the next one, beam. Okay? Select again the view filter and object representation, save us. Next is the uh, column, view filter, object representation, save us. And object representation when you, when you use in the drawing? No, that one is in the, if you want to use a different color, oh. go to the object representation. Now, let me cancel this one. So, let me check if that one appear already in my view filter. Huh? So, double click, double click, and then here, if you expand this one, you will find here parametric angles, modify, okay, parametric beam, modify, parametric column, modify. So it works. So once save, you have to click, tick, and then it will save to the other filter option. Okay, so do, do you want to try this one? Try this one first, and then we will go to the object representation. The uh, remember earlier you you asked about the color, different color, mm -hmm. so we will go to that one. Okay, so the difference between the uh, the display in model and in component is uh, is this one. Okay, look the part. If I if I select, okay, let me just correct this one first. Okay, look, huh? if I say um, visibility of the parts, part it means that's the, the element, plates, beam, and everything. Huh? If I say in component, I, I will not check the in component and then modify, look what will happen. So all the parts which is inside the component will be filtered out. It will be hidden. See? All the plates. Because that one is inside the component. Now, if I turn on this one and then I turn off this, the part. So it will show only the connection. The connection because this one is the component. Correct? Now, look. If I turn it on again, let's say, for example, uh, I'm going to explode this connection. Explode. Because component is like a block in AutoCAD, but an intelligent block. Okay? So if I explode this one, it will not be intelligent anymore. So if I right click, explode. Alright? And then I'm going to uncheck the parts in component, modify. So look. It shows because it's not in component anymore. It's exploded. Okay? So let me undo this one. And then modify. Oops. Okay? So that's the difference in model or in component. Because here, you can, you can hide the cuts and pitting of material in the model or in the component. Okay? Now, let's go through the uh, object representation. Remember, in object representation, we already filtered out the column, the beam, and the angle, right? Correct? Yeah. Okay, so if you go to the uh, pull down menu view, and then here you will find object representation. Or sorry, uh, yeah, representation and then object representation. Okay, okay click on that one. This one. Uh, you can represent the uh, the elements or the object in a different color or a different uh, visibility. Let's say you want 
you want on you want the column as transparent only the column all the column is transparent because at the moment using the control two everything is transparent right but if you want let's say a particular element to be transparent you can use the object representation okay so you will filter only the column and then show the uh, representation of that column according to what you want okay now let's start here so here i have uh all which is color by class which is this everything is uh by default now let me add add row okay add row okay so here object group you can select here remember the one we saved earlier the parametric so if you if you add a row okay i'm going to repeat uh, add row so here you can see object group select that one you you can find at the bottom the parametric angle beam and column so where how did we get this one earlier right we save it so let's say column so what what color you like in the column so earlier we have only 14 colors right but in this case we have more we have 256 or more by here choose color this one i think it's a million color define color see okay so you can choose whatever shade of column you like let's say i want the shade of my column let's say this one okay i like the shade shade of this color a little bit brownish okay click okay so that's the color and then it's visible and then modify okay sorry you need to put that one at the top and then modify there you go at the top yeah because hierarchy level right so that's why i need to put that one at the top okay next next let's say the beam add row and this one i will select parametric beam at this time i want this parametric beam the color of my parametric beam choose again the color let's say a little bit pink like this one okay pink click okay and then let's say the transparency i want here 970 percent right and then modify oh good okay and lastly the angle so angle again add another color uh, row select the angle and let's say this one is the color so let's say you choose a different color let's say uh, a little bit green click ok and then this one is visible modify and there you go so just simply just simply apply this one and click ok now whatever let's say if i put here a beam if i put a beam here okay if i load this one see the name is beam automatically all the name beam will have this representation all right so this is the this is how you do the object representation okay kindly do that one okay in in master drawing catalog you can uh, go to the browse browser and then stored searches if you click all everything will be there huh? all the settings all the settings are here so let's say we're going to do only assembly drawing so click assembly drawing and then look for the assembly drawing let's say column if you find column can you see that one column plus parts right okay 
before you before you do this one because when you select this one means this is the setting for the column plus parts okay and all you have to do is run the numbering okay now it runs the numbering right quickly now how to create the drawing now so all you have to do is select one column select one column and then select the column plus part and then here create drawing so once the drawing is created okay so here one drawing is created and then you can now open this drawing and there you go so you have a very nice uh, column presentation here if you notice here everything is okay it's very minor to do uh, the modification here actually this one can go directly to the shop because they can publicate this one with all these dimensions unless you want to change the dimensions yeah so if you notice here all the the bill of material is here you don't have to do anything here actually especially in the steel it's already see the dimensions are already there this uh, maybe you can do some some small uh, uh, what do you call that uh, cosmetic change to to show it clearly but nothing much to do Okay, so I'm going to close this one. So in that case, actually, you can select, you can select all the column, select all the column, and then select this one, and then create drawing. Okay, so if I click this one, it will create for all the columns only. That's why. We need to know how to do this selection filter earlier, right? So selection filter, select all the columns, so it will create the, the drawing. So I have created two drawings here. So one, two, three. So one column for one drawing. One column for one drawing. I think uh, th these two columns are same, so it becomes one drawing. Okay. Alright, so because you, you did the numbering, so the system automatically assigned the piece marking to each element. So the system will identify if the column is same, mm -hmm. it will put you in one drawing. Is it possible to you know, put column 1 and column 2 in the same drawing? Yes. Okay. Yes. That one is uh, uh, under the multi-drawing. Mm -hmm. So if here, say column 1 and column 2. Right click and then uh, you create a multi drawing. Uh -huh. Let's say, okay, since this one is a big drawing, uh -huh. uh, I will I will use the uh, I will just simply use the empty empty drawing. Okay. So this is the multi drawing. Okay, so all I have to do is select these two and then link link drawing views uh -huh. or how can I say that one? Yeah, just link drawing views. Because the, uh, I need to have a bigger, see? I need to have a bigger drawing here. Layout, let's say my layout is uh, specified size. What is the size of the A0? One one thousand fourteen. Five nine four five. Ah no no no. Uh, let's say eight four one by one thousand. One thousand two hundred. No. <laughs> Something like that. Okay. But it's possible to put that one in one drawing. So you need to create a multi-drawing 
yeah, multi drawing. Okay. So my version here is since, since this one is uh, same column, right? Okay. So what I'm going to do is just simply select this. Select this uh, these parts. Okay. Right click, copy here. Okay. Right? Now, since I copy that one, so I have 2,500. So I need to move this one 500 down. Right? So all I have to do is to select this, 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 and this. Okay? So let's say include the steepener here. I'm going to move linear negative 500. Okay, done. Now, the column, column is also, it should be 2,500, right? So it will be flush. Okay, the only thing is, I don't need this connection because that one, I need to have this uh, flush connection. So I'm going to delete this, delete this one, delete this one. Okay, and also, I can easily change the size of this beam. Okay, I will leave the size of this beam there. All I have to do is select this beam and then by pressing Alt key and then cross window the handle. So I select two handles, right? And then going through right click, move. Okay, so I'm going to move this one since this one is uh, 3000. Half is what? One five, right? So from center here, I will type one five. There you go. Okay. Uh, I can use also move linear. So select, right click, move. Linear, so from this point to this point, I will just type here 1500 and then move. Okay, same. So this one, I will just simply copy this one from this point to this point. Alright, and then now I'm going to put the connection here since I want this one as splash. I can use now my clip angle. I will type clip. So clip angle 141, this one, 141, clip angle 141 by selecting column and then beam, column and beam, so column, beam, select the column and beam, Okay, now how about this this uh, bracing? So the bracing is I can first I'm going to delete delete this uh, connection. No need to delete the other one. I will just simply select the both of the bracing and then Control P here plan right right click move ah uh, sorry copy mirror so pick this point to this point that is my mirror line this one is nine should be 90 copy and there you go so since I mirror that one the connection is also copied okay all I have to do now is to to put the why I delete the connection here because the connection here is only for single uh, location since I have the double uh, uh, work all that uh, brace here I can now use my number 11 and look how to apply this one is select the beam select one and then two and then middle button of your mouse so that one will be a 
common. Again, select the beam, one, two, middle button of your mouse, and there you go. Number 11. Still number same, number 11. Alright? Now, let's do the stale. So that one is only a review. You, uh, I'm not telling that you did it wrongly, huh? What you did is something like that's the that's your way. That one is fine with me. If you're if you're faster than that one, that would be much better. But if you think that this one is faster, you can adapt this one. It's your choice. Okay? Now, for the beam or for the uh, stringer, I'm going to press uh, press Control F and then I will just type here stale. So stale, I'm going to use S71. S71 here. Okay? S71. So in this case, my uh, my S71 is something like this one. So here, you can see that there is a 500, 500. That one is landing. Okay, from, from the bottom, it will go up. There's a landing, 500. Okay, so I have this 500. And then here, because uh, this one is attached to the floor, so that's why the connection is like this. If this one is attached to the other, to the second floor, the connection should be like this one. Okay? So I will choose this one. So again, this one is all parametric. Parametric, it means you can just simply in, key in the value. Of course, if the value is wrong, it will not work. So you have to know the, the correct value. Okay? Still set up. Okay, so you can have this uh, catalog. By default, I think I already... Uh, okay, sorry. Because in version 18, um, that one is done by other. I mean, the localization of that one is done by other. In version 19, this one is done by me for the Southeast Asia. So if you, if you install the version 19, this one will be the default. At the moment, the version 18 and version 19 default is different. Because this one now is my, uh, the one I, I created when I joined the Southeast Asia here. Okay? So in this case, all I have to do is just simply apply this one. So, okay. How, you're, how, how to identify the, uh, the procedure of adding this stale? Okay? Basically, if you go to the help, help files. Okay, there you go. Okay, at this point of time, because help file is something like, uh, it's not the, in, in 18, the help file is different from 19. Now, in, in 19, it's something like, it's totally different because it will go to the, uh, to the web. Okay, let's say S, S71. So S seventy one stale. Here, it will show you how to insert this one. So in this case, uh, you can see below the uh, what call that the yeah, pick a point to indicate the nosing, the first step, the bottom one, and then pick the the second position. Okay, so from the bottom to top. Okay, so let me show it to you. Okay. Apply, and okay, so let's say I'm going to put here at the center, so it's, it will be easier. Okay, one, okay, one, click one, and then here, the center here, I need to find where is the, uh, the middle of this one. Okay, this one. But I'm going to pick control. Okay, control and click. Why? Because I need to I need to move five hundred oh. because of the value, right? So I need to move five hundred there. Okay, here. 
So click this one and then middle button of your mouse. And there you go. Right? You want to repeat? Okay, let me repeat it again. Okay. Click. Okay. First is select one. One. Next one is look for the uh, the the same line, but I need to press control. And then five hundred. It depends on the the value that you put, huh? If that one is two hundred, two hundred. Okay. Look. If let's say I put two hundred only, ah. Uh, two hundred only. And then middle button of your mouse. So if you notice here, it's it's over. But I can always change this one. So here I change this one to instead of 500, I will not, I will remove the landing. So modify. There you go. So straight to the to the center center line. So the first point to the second point is excluding the landing. It's not including the, the landing. It's not including the landing. Okay. Look. If you go to the top view, huh? okay, top view. I pick from this center, right? Okay. So in this case here, I can specify the the width of the floor. Let's say my width is only eight hundred. Modify. Okay. And then here, the position here. If I want to make it center, I will go to the stair setup. Position in plane. I think I will say middle, modify, and there you go. So I have now the stair at the middle. You get it? Yeah. Okay. You try that one, and then we will continue with the other option. Or, not sorry, not option, but other... Uh, Component 100. Can you show me the star setting? Yeah. Ladder. So there are two different types the cage ladder and ladder, but basically it, it serves as uh, uh, same, same options. Okay. So let's say we we'll go to the uh, uh, ladder S35. Ladder S35. Okay, now if you notice here, one, two, there's a position here, one, two. It means you need to pick the top part and then the the bottom part. Okay, so in that case, we need to pick from the top part. So let's say. I, I want to put a uh, uh, distance from the beam, let's say around 300, okay? So this one I can use my control key, okay? My control key again, look, from the center, from the center, okay? I will just uh, click, press control, and then here, let's say 300 from the center of the, uh, of the grid, okay? So 300. Press control. So I press twice. Okay. Control twice. And then uh, here, since this one is 2 5, okay, I will look for the 2 5 here. 2 5, okay? 1, and then go back again to the 2 5 to the bottom. You, you get the point? Yes. Okay. And that's it. But since this one is something like a very, the, the, the reason why the shape is like this, because it's very short. Okay. Usually the ladder is for the, for the tall, okay? But okay, to in, for the sake of argument that uh, we want to see the, a very good uh, positioning of this one, I will just simply add another 2,500. This, and then move another. 2,500 or another 3,000 so I, you can see that the ladder is very uh, nicely nicely done here right 
Okay? Again, the thing is, the rotation of the ladder should be go to the parts and then or parameters and here rotation is you can choose the rotation here whether it is this one or this one okay you get it and then here either you put a walk through side sidewalk left sidewalk right sidewalk okay like this one something like this so it means the side way right so you can choose that one okay so that's that's the ladder so you don't have to start from scratch but that's the way to do it pick from the top and then to the bottom okay uh, so you want to repeat it again or you can try now okay just try it it's easy okay for the uh, for the handrail okay so let's start with the handrail of the uh, let's say the handrail for this okay so you just type handrail in the component search and you will find the 1024 okay this handrail is something like uh, you can use this one to to start the handrail okay just a preliminary start of uh, modeling the handrail but of course can I tell that this one is 100% fully work according to the standard that you're doing but at least to start with you have something okay so what I'm going to do is just simply uh, apply this one and then pick the object and pick the position so if you notice here it will uh, put that uh, you can put the position there okay let me just uh, simply uh, hide this one for the meantime so that I can see easily see my handrail here okay so now let me just also oh sorry oh I'm sorry all right let me just do it here okay now for, for the handrail, if you notice, I pick this position, okay, I pick this position. So if you want to adjust the stanchion, the post, okay, so here you can specify here, let's say, I want to have a 350 here, modify. Uh, Why well, it doesn't work? Modify, yeah, so that one is 350 from that point, and then here, from the edge of the beam also I will put 350 modify okay and then here if I want to have a post here um, I can say I will put here 1000 modify so I have the post here right now here if I want to have a, a uh, straight bar here I'll just put here 300 modify so I can close it like this right if I don't want that close I can I can delete this one later right now how about here I want the extension here so I will just put here another let's say um, 400 modify but this one I don't want this so let me check let me check uh, let me check what what we can do here I think uh, I'm not sure about this section okay never mind it's uh, let's say we'll see here Okay, you can put the profile here, the different size of the, the pipe, right? I'll just use the, the default one. And uh, in this case, for the connection here, for the connection here, I, why I have two items here. Okay. 
okay I put equal distribution it's okay and then uh, uh, what else uh, let's say here if you notice this one is at the top if you want to put this one at the side you can just put the value here let's say 150 modify or negative so that it will go outside okay so the connect the 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 handrail is connected to the side okay side so in that case here to put the connection here you go to the parameter and I think here there is something like connection type I just don't know what is this one huh? let me just check monorail stanchion okay so whoa I need to I, I, I don't know the I don't know what is the uh, connection type of this one but uh, okay let me say the end plate let, let me just put it zero and then uh, the parameter is let's say nope not stanchion um, plate maybe yeah something like this okay but if you don't want to use this one it's okay you don't 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 choose anything you just uh, put uh what do you call that uh, manually not 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 basically manually this, okay this is what I'm, I'm telling let's say none modify and then i will choose here uh let's say negative 150. what i'm telling is here there's a uh, uh there's there are different types of connection Let me just find it out because I will use this one for a long time. So here, let's say uh, this one. Okay. Or, or this one. Oh, this one is for angle. Or this one. Okay. Stanchion curb. So if you if you type here stanchion. So, the different types of uh, stanchion, okay? So, let's say this one, stanchion double plate. Stanchion double plate, it means you need to select, you need to select objects, in, select this stanchion, and then pick the beam. A. this one or maybe this one stanchion and then huh? illegal coordinates illegal coordinates uh, oh what is the why there's uh, illegal coordinates maybe this one this one Forgot the connection here. Okay, there you go. So there's a connection, stringer, stanchion. So select the beam and then this one, beam, beam, and there you go. So you have now this uh, connection, a very simple connection.
okay so if you're okay with this one all you have to do is okay let's say handrail okay so I'm going to select this one apply and okay so here let me just click again this position okay so look look what I'm going to do here so in this case this one is something like I don't need this one I want a full curve here so I will choose select objects in component and I'm going to delete this it will be like this right all right so here there is a uh, another connection I think is, is this the one um, I think this one I hope this is the one railing double double curve uh, I think I need only the single curve like this or you can just simply uh, apply this one and then something like do the uh, Pick this one. Something like this. Instead of, I know that there's uh, something like a component like that, but I, I forgot the the number. That's the thing that you you need to also to to learn. To master the component but if you don't use this one usually it's uh, so here I will just simply copy this one and there you go it's not that straight but I mean this is the way you can do it I, I just I just copy this one PD 50 oh. way yeah just double click apply and then use the curve beam or the poly beam Okay, and then you have this handrail. And then, of course, this one, I'm going to apply this one. So, select the beam and then Okay, 